Hey all, I am here with a Fender Player Series Mustang in the beautiful Sienna Burst with a maple neck, the short 24 inch scale. Everything about this is uh, basically on display here. There are no bells, no whistles, no tricks. With this, it is two single coil pickups, one volume, one tone, and a three-way toggle. I'm gonna play some of the sounds on it for you. Uh, I like it a lot, and I think it's a great guitar for someone else. Uh, I could talk about that a little later, but uh, for now, we'll just do some of the sounds. Here's the neck pickup. <laughs> Both pickups. So there you have it. Uh, not much to it. It does sound very nice. It has a very nice clean tone. It's that classic kind of single coil, single coil sound. And uh, the middle position, I think, is really the money spot for this guitar. Uh, that has the classic Fender uh, combo of single coil pickups. Uh, it kind of sounds like the neck middle position of a Strat. Um, and uh, yeah, so the reason it's not the perfect guitar for me is one, I don't think it gets quite enough sounds. Two, uh, they've got this three-way toggle here, which uh, I've repositioned it a little bit so that it's not in my strumming angle, but... Uh, with a shorter scale, I find that I'm strumming right above the neck pickup, which is not ideal. Uh, I make contact occasionally with my pick on the pickup, and it will even sometimes swipe that, which I've never had with any other guitar where I've accidentally flipped the toggle switch. So that's not great. Traditionally, the Mustang had on-off switches up here uh, for each pickup, and then you could just switch them on and off. And I would prefer that for some reason in 2017 or whenever this line came out. Fender just thought, you know what? People are going to love this three-way toggle. We're going to put it on the American Jazzmaster. Uh, you know, the Jaguar is going to simplify away from the switches. Uh, some of the jazz, some of the other Jazzmasters switched away from the switches. And the Mustang went to this toggle switch. Uh, I'm glad to see that with the Professional 2 Series, they're going back uh, to some of the more traditional settings on these guitars. Because I think in this day and age, no one really needs a Mustang or a Jazzmaster. They're kind of fun one-off guitars um, and so why try to make them simpler and more usable when the quirkiness is the appeal uh, so anyway the tone on this is not something that I uh, I definitely don't need it the only reason I would be tempted to keep this guitar uh, I got this in a trade by the way and we'll probably get rid of it in a trade the only thing I would be tempted to keep about this is the uh, short scale neck which I have two Jazzmasters now and no short scale neck because I got rid of my Jaguar, uh, which I have a review of on YouTube. So you should check that out uh, while you're on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll add a little distortion to this and maybe I'll try a different amp or two just to give you a full range of the flavor. I definitely, like the title of the video says, it is a cool guitar for someone else. It's just not my speed at the end of the day. Um, but I certainly wouldn't begrudge anyone uh, who said that this was like their guitar, the guitar for them, because it's definitely a cool piece. So uh, here's the same amp which I've been using, which is a Fender 68 Custom Deluxe captured into my Kemper profiler. And I just turned on the uh, green uh, distortion, which is uh, Tube Screamer-ish, and the gain's about halfway up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Okay, here is a 69 Marshall going for that plexi tone and uh, I'll, starting on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Both pickups, and notice the huge drop off uh, when we get that noise canceling. <laughs> Now notice on the low end, using that neck pickup, it starts to get a little muddy and inarticulate. But when I use both, I think you can still hear every note articulated very clearly. So, yeah, I stand by that. Uh, so in the end, I really think it has that glassy 50s tone that a lot of guys chase and spend a lot of money for. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of the 50s. Uh, Fender models, whether it's the Strat or the Tele Classic 50s, uh, I've always been more into the 60s sound. I think they're a little less mid-rangey um, and a little more scooped in the EQ, uh, generally with the pickups and everything. And uh, yeah, and I prefer 60s necks. Now I will say that this has kind of a standard modern C-shaped neck. Uh, I think these are normal jumbo frets, nothing special or crazy about them. Uh, so yeah, I think... Uh, if you've played a Strat or Tele before, you're going to know how this feels, except the shorter scale. Uh, you may find it a little easier to move around. This is definitely a great guitar for a learner or a student. However, I will say it is much, much nicer than my first guitar, uh, or my second, or my third. So, it's a great fourth guitar as well. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope this has been helpful, and... Uh, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews.